What's going on? It's Mike. I'm back again with another video. Today we got a mystery box from Gorilla Care. Let's get into it. channel we do uh, product reviews how-to videos detailing videos live streams on the weekends today we got a mystery box we're gonna open up see what's inside from Gorilla Car Care it's probably one of the most expensive mystery boxes I've ever bought I would have to admit we'll see if this is really worth it so we're gonna take a peek inside we're gonna open it up and see what we got so do me a favor though while we're sitting here and open this up hit that subscribe button down below give me a thumbs up See what we got up in here. Sitting on my Viper chair again. Love the Viper chair. This is this side up, so I'm not to uh, open it up from the side here. It is a bucket, so I know I get at least get their bucket. So we'll get their uh, paper thrown off to the side. First thing we get from Gorilla Car Care. That's, oh, wow, look at this. Gorilla. It is a water jug. It's freaking heckin' nice. It's got like a little rubbery feel to it. It feels really, really nice. Insulated real well from Gorilla. It's pretty nice. I know they were going to send a shirt, they did ask. So we do get a Gorilla shirt with their logo. And I know it's going to fit because it's heavy size. It's perfect. We got, love me some stickers, a Gorilla sticker. And as I go along, I'll link everything and how much everything costs so we can see if those are really worth it. We have a couple sprayers. It's like gold these days. Let's see. Uh oh. Snub. Pressure washer gun. I'm liking this so far because I do like the small handle. I don't like the long handle ones because you get your foam can away out there. It makes it real heavy. I like this real nice and small. It's plastic. Let's see how this goes. Digging this. We got a work towel, yellow work towel. As you know, I like using the Costco ones. This is pretty similar to the Costco ones. Really nice towel. Looks like if you were to go to Costco and get some. Wow. Let's see what we got. Some more sprayers. More sprayers. Let me fix this real quick because, you know, I want all my stuff to be. Nice here. And more sprayers. We got at least one, two, three, four, five sprayers. So no, it's, nope, we got more. We got six. Six sprayers, so it's at least six bottles. And we got a another towel wrapped up with a foam cannon. And we need the hose that runs from here must still be in here somewhere. Because, oh yeah, there it is right here. Got a foam cannon. And it's the Gorilla foam cannon. It's got the milliliters and ounces on the side, so it looks like it's gonna be up to a 30 ounce bottle. The only thing I have a gripe with is plastic, to brass. It's only brass would be easy to strip out. But other than that, 
probably end up changing the, uh, well, I'll find out what kind of orifice it has inside. Oh, it looks pretty big too, so it might be a 1.25 or it could, it looks like something big. I'll change it to the 1.1, which is what I like. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. I have total control of it, pretty easy. I'm liking that, I might have to use that there pretty, this weekend on the detail. Get that all set up with my quick mix. Got another towel, yellow towel, liking that. <clears throat> all right, oh, we got more sprayers. These two more sprayers in here. So, let's get those out of here. All right, first bottle, I'm just gonna, I, mean, I can't see them. I can see the, the bottles, I don't, don't know what they are though. So I'm just gonna grab one, open it up, pull it out. The Foam Shampoo, the Gorilla Foam Shampoo. Made in Colorado, and it is hand use, dispense one to two ounces in a five gallon bucket, use pressure washer to create foam, and for machine use, dilute at a rate of a half an ounce per one ounce per, or a half ounce to an ounce per gallon of water. And a foam gun, three to four ounces in the canister, fill a canister with water and shake before use. I recommend putting the water in first and then putting it in and then sh and not really shake it, but just kind of swirl it around. That's what I recommend. So I'm just gonna let me move some of this out of the way so we can make some room for what's about to happen. Oh, drops the stickers. Like my stickers. All right, let's see what we got here. Some wheel cleaner. Wheel cleaner is spread on even cool dry wheels, like stand three to five minutes. Liquid will change color and dissolve brake dust and soils. Rinse thoroughly with the high pressure. Nice. Got some wheel cleaner. Looks like so far you can clean a car so far with this. And now we got for, oh, for interior use, their leather cleaner. One thing I like about leather cleaner is if it smells good, I'm gonna love it. Man, that smells good. Let's see. Pour a small amount onto a clean towel. Work the upholstery in the towel for a very soft bristle brush. Wipe off excess cleaner and buff clean with the soft towel. For use of uh, smooth leather only. May only be used, uh, may also be used on vinyl. So you can use this on vinyl, which is good. I love it, it does smell pretty good. Let's not take, a peek, take a look at a waterless wash. I am not a huge waterless wash fan, but I do use it. Waterless wash. I wanna see what it smells like though, just be curious. Ooh, man, that smells good. It's like another one of them candy smells. <laughs> oh my lordy. But it's not though, it's like a, a like a honeydew melon or something. But it has, that smells good. What we got here? We got a tire and wheel cleaner, which will then go with the wheel cleaner. It's supposed to be more of a, probably more of a tire cleaner. Clean rubber tire sidewalls to ensure Tire dressing lasts longer, looks better. Spray cleaner directly onto alloy rims, plastic, wheels, covers, brake parts, suspension parts, plastic fenders, liners, undercarriage parts to break down uh, the grime and filth. That's cool. Can you work this up with the wheel cleaner over here? Let's see. What else did we get? We got a tire and trim dressing. And it's blue. It's kind of interesting. So it says, shake well and apply a few drops, spread dressing over an entire workplace, and then work the rubber deep into the surface, bust off excess residue with a microfiber towel, wait five to 10 minutes to add additional layers as needed. It's pretty cool, it's blue, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of digging that. Let's see what we got here. Some more foam shampoo. I got two of them. I just gotta see what it smells like now. I, like I got two of these. Hmm. It's not really a good, a decent smell. It smells, but 
I don't know. Really, what smell that is? It wasn't fantastic though, but it does smell. Oh man, I see stickers in there. I gotta get those. I love the stickers. Stuck at the bottom. Gorillas and Gorilla. We got a blue one and a black one. I'm kind of digging this blue one right here. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like me some stickers. All right, we got interior cleaner. Always can use some interior cleaner. Miss the on surface. Do not saturate or soak fiber. Uh, fabric. Sorry. Wipe and rub surface with a clean towel or a damp sponge. Uh, wipe dry with the clean towel until the towel remains clean. For heavy duty cleaning, allow time to penetrate and scrub surface if necessary. All right, and we got some gorilla dressing. Wow, oh, don't know if any gorillas are around here. <laughs> that was kind of liquidy. So what's it is? It's a spray and wipe directly onto a clean, dry surface. Allow gorilla dressing time to penetrate. For maximum gloss and protection, wipe off any access with a clean microfiber towel. Reapply if higher gloss is desired. So it looks like it could be like a, a like an after wash if you want to gloss up your paint. That's what it looks like to me because it looks real glossy. I mean, it looks real liquidy. Gorilla dressing. It looks cool. And it's also blue. I, mean, I can't imagine if that's being for the tires. And we got some more wheel cleaner. Did we already get some? Yep, we already got, we got two wheel cleaners. That's cool. I like, always could use some wheel cleaner. So that's pretty darn cool. And then we got their bucket. It's just a five gallon bucket with a big decal on it. The gorilla on there. Of course, don't let your kids play in the bucket because they could drown. Please don't do that. Huh. Five gallon bucket. And here's my invoice. Thank you, Mike, and enjoy. Mystery bucket. So if you like watching product reviews, how-to videos, detailing videos, and my live streams on the weekends, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. And here's the total price I'll have for you here. And I'll have a video for you to watch next. Thanks for watching.